back here and make it clear. It's your host Rob Lowe bringing y'all season four, episode thirty. Welcome back to Facts and Stats, y'all. It's four thirty, but it's four twenty still for real. You feel me, coach? It's that thirty piece, baby. It's yeah. that thirty like curry, baby. We about to drop this, at man. Listen, yeah. this is about to be exclusive. You know, to all the high VIP <laughs> watching right now. The subscribers, y'all getting the scoop right now. But y'all got to get the community connection right now to CC. Keep that in your mind right now. Need an affordable storefront that automatically pays your affiliates to drive sales to your physical or digital products, appointments, subscriptions, or paid events? No website needed. Find out how easy it is to register as a vendor today. Make sure y'all hit up that link up underneath, go on your phone, go on your laptop, let them know facts and stats sent y'all. But for right now, I got the menu for the day. We got the NFC playoff predictions. We got no holes ball predictions. But we ain't got to predict these two albums. Two of the most highly anticipated albums of the year in a couple years. I mean... Kanye West, uh-huh. Drizzy Drake. Oh, 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 before we get to that comment, that ain't no YSB. That's for the belt, for real. That's for the title. Before we get to that, Kanye West, uh-huh. Donda. He dropped first. Let's get to that one first. Donda. Donda, 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 <laughs> Donda, Donda, Donda. I like the album. First track, uh-huh. now you could have cut that out. But other than that, it's a little, it's another couple of tracks. I'm gonna keep it a I could have kept it out. But most of the tracks, most of the tracks, Kanye, I am proud of you. You know, I thought we was gonna lose you, but we ain't lose you that far. You know what I'm saying? And stop, stop bashing my man. Stop bashing him, cause. If you if you in love with music, you in love with music. Stop taking the, the real life and trying to intertwine with the music. Can't do that. that you ain't gonna never love the music if you do that, because nobody's perfect. You expecting somebody to be a hero and be perfect by step by step, that ain't gonna happen. That's why music is made for real, so you can let out the bad times also. You know what I'm saying? And then people can relate to them bad times and get over that uh, that step and move forward. You know what I'm saying? So don't always look at it as a bad thing, man, because I I been with the album all the way through, the gospel in it, the um that way he changed up the beats for certain artists on uh, the same track. Crazy to me, man. Different type of different type of producer. Yeah, Kanye different with it. I gotta start there too. Start with I still I like the album, just like you did. But I didn't even know the Joan drop. You had told me about it last Sunday. We did the show. I didn't even know you was telling. I thought you was talking about the performance he had in Chicago that Friday. Twenty six songs. It's a lot of damn songs. And then on top of that, you got seven, eight, nine, ten minute songs. So. It took me maybe like four different sit down and listen times for me to get through the whole thing one time. And I know I got to go back a couple times, break down that album. But it was a lot of good songs in it. I rock like you said, the gospel side. He with the with the producer side, is, he he just mixed up the gospel enough where I felt like it was almost like put the pill in the applesauce. Saying put the medicine in the Kool-Aid, you know, and and and, and Jai like Lord and me, who not really uh, um, somebody who listened to gospel a lot, and I didn't even really recognize it was gospel songs. Um, I chopped it down to my top ten. Let Mom Duke's head. Shout out to his Mom Duke's. R.I.P. to his Mom Duke. She liked it. Um, she liked the beats. She liked the hooks. It was classic Kanye hooks for real, for real, and. She wasn't really feeling the fact that the radio chose to play the jail song, the, you know, I Ain't Going to Jail Tonight song over some other ones that she liked. So, 
I got to I got to throw that out there. She rock with it. She just felt like it was other other songs that could have been played right there. Okay, what you think that. about that song? Uh, I can relate to the song, man. I can relate to the song because there's been plenty of times where I saw them lights. I saw them lights behind me, and I'm like, I'm going to jail now. And uh, God blessed me out of that situation plenty of times. Facts. Multiple times. You know, all different types of situations. So I can definitely relate to that song, but it was never, never as uh, heavy as some people on the track. You know, like uh, Mar uh what's his name, Merlin, and uh, the baby. You know, the baby getting accused of. You know, we did on the stage against the uh, L B Q T something like that uh, committee. I don't even remember. I don't want to get into none of that for real, for real. So, yeah, you know, they bashing on people, but you know, that people got to express that stuff, like I was saying earlier, even if it's bad, you know, you got to learn. It's life. We in life right now, man. You're like, you got to learn through it and keep moving. Like, you can't be hurt off of somebody else's feeling. I mean, I ain't the way they feel, so. Yeah, no, I feel you on that first point, because. All I can think is, is God was the one that helped me never go to jail for real, for real. So I'm blessed. I'm definitely blessed in that sense. But we all blessed to have Kanye drop and Drake drop the same week. Might be coincidence. Might He might just be trying to stop the shine. But did he do it, though? What, what you feeling like with this certified lover boy out? My lesson. Drake C L B certified L nah. <laughs> kept the marketing situation. He got he had on billboards across the city of which artists you know was coming from that city. He had the meme coming out on Instagram with the uh, album cover. You had Shaq do his joint with all the teams that he played with. You had Stephen A switch up his little suits and all that. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, okay. it's a little, little catchy. So the marketing side of it, genius. Beautiful. And the album also was beautiful. I'm not going to hate. I'm not hating out here, people. Mm -hmm. I'm beautiful. I'm going I'm, I'm to say I'm a Drake fan, but I love Drake music. I, I understand it. I get it. Right? But at the same time, just like I felt for Kanye, some of his songs was kind of a little off to me. I feel as though Drake's songs was kind of a little repetitive from the past to me. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, both guys could have did better, but I feel as though both albums came out to what they were supposed to do. And I respect both of them, you know, both works, but Drake, I got to... It's not, it's not too many. It's not too many tracks on there that I bang with. Okay. You know, but it is one track on there that just beat all the tracks that came out this week. Put it like that to me. Okay, okay, okay. I hate you for Drake album. Once again, I'm out the loop. He might do a great job promote. Maybe I need to get on some social media some more because I ain't I ain't peeped them Jones. It's my fault. Matter of fact, I got to thank the people that have been keeping me up outside last couple nights bumping music, 12, 12, 30. You feel me? Because I listened, I listened last night, got me up working on the show. I'm like, oh, they playing Drake? I, I heard he might drop the album. I, I think he was waiting on Kanye to drop the whole time. You can't convince me that a Sunday drop for Kanye and then a Friday when we were waiting the whole summer for both of them, nah, I feel like I feel like Drake wanted this combo. We, I see you, Drake. That's why we got it. That's why we got you versus Kanye right now, bruh. But with this album, a little bit predictable. You know what I'm saying? Niggas knew what she was going to throw out that Giannis line when he won. Anytime somebody win, LeBron, Steph Curry, anybody, you got to throw the Giannis line. It, it was tough though. You know, you got to keep it a buck. Like Ante Tacumpo, you don't be a poop though, some shit like that, you feel me? But at the end of the day, 
I like this album because Drake different for a couple different reasons to me. One, he's you can talk about a versatile album, and it's a different type of versatility when you talk about the producer side with Kanye and mixing up the beats and the sounds. But music-wise, like for him to not even be able to be put in a category, like rapper, singer, the bass on both sides, and then on top of that, when you get into that storytelling mode, bro, 99.9% of the time, I be feeling like he talking about somebody particular. And a situation, particular. I don't know if it's real or if it's just the skill. You know what I'm saying? But he got that either way. Now we on to the top three. I gotta catch up. We we jumping around. We going from 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 Drake album. We going back to Kanye Donda. Top three from that album. What you think? Coming in at number three for Donda. I'm going. Hmm. This is hard for me, people. I like a lot of tracks on this album. To break it down to the this three is hard. Number three, you gotta be on here. Cause I'm definitely playing this for our first week, our first matchup <laughs> on our football game. Praise God. Oh my God. Listen, lady come on in and join, give us some nice little speech. And then she hit us with the, it can't always be night. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. So that's why like, oh. give me every time that the beat come on, then this joint just, it just takes me away. Oh, it's is that at the beginning or the beginning? beginning? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I be um, getting mixed up when I listen to the joint. But I got to fuck with it. Uh, it just sound like a... It just sound like you just get your team ready off of this joint. Like, what's the old warriors? Let's get it. <laughs> but no, real talk, man. It just, and then it got no cussing, so you can play for a middle school joint. Uh, that's also another thing about Kanye West. He took out all the cussing, just, you know. Anyway. Yeah, man, I just, I just bang with this, this track right here, man. Give me football ready, man. Another track that might get them football ready. Off the grid. We off the grid, grid, grid. This for my kids, kids. Oh, it's for the kids. It's for the middle school kids. Hey, off the grid. My number three. Shout out Fabio Form. Uh-huh. He might have put 32 balls on. Who was on the first verse? You know? Can't remember. Can't remember. But it sounded like he was from like it sounded like like a little key from little. It just sounded like it was somebody from a line. Mm -hmm. And the part that was crazy about that, like I was talking about earlier, he had two different people, like two different rap flows on the same track. That's crazy to me, man. And you could tell like when Fabio got on, it was like a New York type of, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That was that the best guy. Fabio I ever heard. Was crazy. Too. That's his best verse to me. Crazy. Correct me, please. Number two. Do you want to go? Oh, ooh, double three for Drake. Let's yeah. get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. I'm too exclusive with this. I gotta catch up. Let's get it. We way. I don't. We way too sexy, man. <laughs> we way too sexy. I'm gonna say it. That's why I had me feeling like you got that Playboy out here. You feel like a CLB. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm always I get this little cut. I'm going to shut up and go. I'm back. I'm back. That's how they had me feeling. You know what I'm saying? After you just get a haircut and shit, you in a cop. Play that joint. You boy, you a cop. Let's be up here. <laughs> you funny. You funny for that one. My number three. Love all. With Jay Z on the track. First off, what happened to the Jay Z track for Kanye album? Yeah. I know it's on there. Yeah. For real? Yeah. It wasn't hitting like the Drake job. I don't even remember it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Is it in your top thirty? What? Well, Did y'all with Jay Z? No, it's not jail. Jay Z on jail? Yeah. yeah. He on the first jail, uh, the baby on that cause on part two. 
Wow, that's that's crazy right there. So I got to give a big salute to Jay Z verse on Drake album. <laughs> Cause he said what he say. They say what you want. Won't go back and forth on the internet. Won't tennis that. You gotta do something. Won't tennis that. Shut up, Jay. Number two for Kanye. <sighs> Respect. Number 24. 24. Track 11. Call 24. You know, um, this track right here, Gospel Feel to Me, I feel as though it's the right move. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, I'm, I grew up, you know, in the church, so that gospel movement, I, I, you know, I feel them vibes. I'm not going to hold you, but I do. So when I heard the song come on, because I'm thinking it's going to be like a hard beat or something like that, you know, 24, I'm thinking, you know, Kobe, you know, it was it was Kobe, you know, it was, uh, meant for Kobe, you know, at the end of the day, but I ain't, I wasn't expecting the gospel feel off of that also, so, it, you know, that blew my mind. So number two. Man, I ain't even, like, that's crazy. I was just about to say with that song, it was one of them jumps where he just like not threw me off, but he he put the pill and the applesauce on that had me thinking it was something else. And I didn't even think about the fact that it could have been for Kobe. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even know that. So of course you get extra points for that, but you get extra points for number two. Jesus Lord, mm -hmm. tell me if you know someone. That means Jesus. Hello. <laughs> I still can't pick between part one, part two. Jay Electronica went crazy on the part one. Uh, lots went off on the part two. I might got to put that together, make that a 20 minute song. I just take a shower to that joint or so. Do some wipe, just clean the house or something. Go, go to work with that as one whole song, you feel me? So that's my number two. Okay, my number two. For CLB, Champagne Poetry. Dog, listen, it might have been Kanye West that fucked that, I'm sorry. It might have been Kanye West that messed it all yeah. up for me. You can't you cuss know? talking about Kanye album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, had, I, had, I had to cut that off. <laughs> so it might have been his first track that messed it up for me, you know. I, I'm talking to my people like, you know what? Don't nobody first track be that good for real nowadays. Now he come out, drop this first track of poetry. That the boy, the lyrically, listen, he got it for me. Like I'm not hating off that part. He got it. Like lyrically, I don't know if he got a ghost right or not. Who do do? I don't care. If the shit, if if I feel it when you say that shit, it don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? And I feel every word of champagne poetry. I hate you on that one, cause that that track right there that remind me of Tuscan Level mm. from uh, what's the name of that album? What's the name of that album? With the hell he got the baby picture in the clouds. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put that up on the video. <laughs> I'll make sure y'all know. But for my number two. No friends in the industry, my brothers, these, oh, ho, oh, let me not fuck it up, ho, oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. No friends in the industry, my brothers been my brothers, man, these niggas ain't no kidding me, that's facts. Album name, nothing was the same. Nothing was the same when I heard my number two track, because this joint went crazy, bro. It's, it's a different, like when I told y'all Drake a different type of versatile, like you could real life go from go from like the intro to just snapping like this just non-stop whole different flow on them that's my number two he went crazy on that i wish i could make both of these songs my number one you know because right after you shove them but i might as just go with the first one. lord i need you because just stop mm -hmm. Just stop. Nigga had me just sitting there just thanking God the whole goddamn time, man. I'm praising God, man. Like, it was crazy. I'm over here, you know. 
Oh man, we just stay for my sins and everything, man. I'm, man, y'all just don't understand. When, when the song get me sitting back to thinking while I'm driving, it's different. It's different. I got to salute to both of them, man. For yeah, it's, it's a legendary week right here. For this anticipation, and they both drop, and they both deliver. I know y'all might be tired of me singing, but remote control, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we got this on remote control, that's the flow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, that's so y'all like hypnotizing, bro. <laughs> Whatever you thug, like, you just get lost. Like you were saying, make you sit back, like, oh, yeah, he real out there, that one. That's a radio, that's a radio class. Yeah, definitely, definitely. My number one for Drake though. No friends in the industry? I'm sorry to say, but he killed it. What's sorry, anytime motherfucking Drake do a diss track sign, it's like crazy. He was killing Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, listen, man. I, I hate you. I hate you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna <laughs> Cause he was ribbing at it, Joyce. So I was like, oh, you got it. Niggas ain't no kidding me, that's facts. You got it, definitely. Hey, number one, I feel like was another diss track to write it for Kanye. And that is 7 a.m. on Bridal Path. Mm -hmm. Going at him. Ooh, I, I ain't even got nothing written down. Y'all got to hear anything. Y'all got to hear the whole... It's about a hundred of them jumps back to back. I feel like I was listening to Battle Rap. Right? Like, go, bruh. Punch lines back to back. Killing whoever it was. I don't know. I don't know who. But, I mean, the person he was sending shots at, did, did, he, did he connect? Did he miss? What the out? I mean, did, did, did he realize still the shine? I don't even think he was sending shots. I think he was out there joint, you know, knifing it up. Mm -hmm. Close range. Because knife talk was a banger too, just an honorable mention. That beat was crazy. Oh my gosh. Be crazy. But, uh, ah, it's a tough call. Tough call, people, understand? Ooh. But, I'm giving it to, the producer mm -hmm. inside of Kanye. The way he able to get artists together on one beat and mix up the beats, mix up the... And, and make artists even do get out of their element. Making them do things that they never did before. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's, that's different. That's, that's, that's music to me. You know, that's poetry. That's making somebody better at the end of the day. So, you know, I edged it to the Donda. Donda, Donda, Donda. 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 Okay, okay. That intro still classic just when I'm putting it on. That's some real Kanye shit right there. But, what you, what's your ratings for? So, I gave it a 9 for Donda and an 8.5 for CLB. Respect. Right there, man. Respect for... Donda, I'm going to say a 7.5. So I still feel like it's a good album, um, right in that range. But I feel like Drake, couple steps up. Like, there's a little bit of space in it. I give it an 8.5 for Drake. Just because Kanye got the producer side, like you said, what he put together was wild. But Drake is versatile in that music in the sense of like what he's saying his lyrics rapping singing evil one and i feel like that's what gave him the edge on this one so i'm gonna get at the win but hey it's one one here so you know what to do at home